Hey, this is Christopher Parham again. I'm going to do this video just to show how many DC amps that I have I can load test these power supplies to. I have two loads right here. I have a 12 volt 0.25 ohm load and a 24 volt 0.25 ohm, but I can put both of them on one power supply. Um, so what we're going to do here, I only have one power supply plugged up. The other one isn't plugged up down here. So when I turn things on, there will be only this top unit uh, power and putting out power. Um, I've already done a video where it shows the power supply under an 890 watt load. And this is a 750 watt power supply. So um, we're going to go ahead and, and turn this on. Let me unplug these loads. And then I also have a DC clamp meter and we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Let's see. All right. Change it over to DC amps and then zero it out. All right. So the DC clamp meter is ready to go. I'm going to turn on the power supply. Power supply is on. Only one of them is hooked up, so I'm not misleading in any way. So the load that I'm gonna plug in is going to be my 12 volt 0.25 ohm load. Make sure I grab the right wires here. Yep. All right. So I'm plug this in and plug that in. All right, so we have about 44 amps DC on the output being loaded. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my second load here. All right, so I got my second load here and we have 67 amps. All right, so it's, I'm just going to, let's see, it's 10.05 now, and the power supply is under 67 amp load. This power supply fan is going to ramp up, and it should. It's under extreme load. This is exceeding the 62 amp rating of this power supply. Um, and again, the voltage coming out the wall has sagged down to 113. 0 0.99 power factor corrected, 895 VA, 888 watts from the wall at 60, 67 amps. I'm going to let this test run and come back in about 30 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't go into thermal shutdown or anything, but this is an extreme torture test. All right, come back in a little bit. Okay, it is um, 10.30. It's still going under the 67 amp load. You hear the fan obviously going. I did some calculations. The power supply is under a 108% load. So a 62 amp power supply at 67 amps, that equals about 108%. And also, uh, I'm going to load test this for an hour and I'm going to base it on the, the clock that's on here. If I can find it. Ugh. All right, you see the elapsed time here? I've actually ran this probably for about maybe five or so, five or seven minutes over this, but I'm going to use this as the official time, the official load test time. So I'm going to just load test this for an hour, and that should be definitive proof enough that this thing is... Um, these power supplies they're they're stout they're, they can they can put out all right I'll come back in a little bit all right we're about an hour and 20 minutes into testing the power supply is still going with um, one hour and 19 minutes so almost hour and 20 minutes still holding 12 volts still delivering 62 amps and power supplies, it's warm, but it's not terribly hot. 
I have an infrared thermometer here. So we're at like 102. And the outputs are, are a little warm down here, but it's putting out a lot. There's you no, know, seems to be no reflowing or anything. There's no heat problem on the output or anything. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this test at two hours. I'm still doing a few things around the house, but I'm just letting it load test. And like I said, this is pretty much over the maximum limit of the power supply. So feel safe to, you know, assume that I wouldn't say you can run it 24 7 like this but this is well longer than any charge scenario that most people can throw at this power supply so if it can take this then it will just you know it'll be able to stand the test of time with smaller more conservative setups but I'm gonna come back when um, when this thing gets up to about two hours and I'm um, gonna go ahead and call it call it done at that point so I'll be back in a little bit okay the test is still going we have crept up on two hours and one minute i'm gonna consider this test done uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh like disconnect everything power supply is still putting out 67 amps turn this back on and we're still at 12 volts so this power supply has been under 108% low for two hours. And like I said, that's a 62 amp power supply putting out 67 amps. And yeah, the fan is going full tilt. It's a extreme load on the power supply, but it's, you know, the power supply itself is, you know, rather cool to the touch. The only thing that's kind of warm down here are the connectors, but everything is held up fine. Um, so I hope this helps you make a, a decision on if my power supply is good enough for your test. This is an extreme test. Nobody really charges batteries this long under this heavy of a load on the power supply. So I uh, hope, hope this shows the quality of my product. Thanks for watching.